So, and here we are, today is Friday the 16th and that means iPhone 14 launch day. I'm gonna pick me up an iPhone 14 Pro Max Space Black, I'm really hyped about that. It's a really expensive phone but I think I will really enjoy it. I did order it by Apple but there were problems with Apple websites and that's the reason why I'm not getting it from Apple today, I'm only getting it Monday. But I did find the Belgium store where I can pick it up today. So we're gonna get in my car and we're gonna get to Cool Blue and pick up my iPhone 14 Pro Max, let's go. So this is my car and yeah, brand new, not brand new, but it's from 2021, but I will make a video later about that. So let's open my car. There we go. There we go. I'm not gonna to drive while filming because it's my first time like filming myself in my car, but soon I want to make a whole video on my car. So I will tell more about my car soon, but first the views about the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So let's go to Cool Blue. And there it is, the all new iPhone 14, I'm hyped on boxes. I'm in my car, as you can see, now we're gonna drive back to home and then you will see more about this phone. And I'm really hyped about the Dynamic Island too and all the camera features and the battery and stuff. But we're gonna talk about that in a couple of minutes. See you then. And I'm back home with the iPhone 14 Pro Max, of course. So we're gonna unbox it right now. Let's get into it. What I was already was saying at the beginning, I'm really hyped about the dynamic island, the cameras, the battery, like everything. This is of course a space black variant, so that will be really nice. Let's get to unbox this iPhone. So let's see, I'm really hyped about this phone. It's a long time ago, I was so hyped for an iPhone because like before there was only the notch, so yeah. There we go. Oh, I see directly the black is like darker and that's nice to see. And already I'm seeing a big difference on this phone because it's like a darker black. It feels just so much better. It's, I really love the dark color and for the rest it does not look that different. As you can see, the lenses are pretty thick, but it's not that a big of a problem. It's really nice, but let's get back in the unboxing. There it is. If you look in the daylight, you can see maybe the new eye hole. It's an eye hole technically, but yeah. So we're gonna do further. And what also is in the box is of course, the lightning to USB-C cable, it's over here. Yeah, it's just the same as every year. We don't get chargers anymore. We just get a cable. Next year, Apple will probably go to USB-C. So it will be really nice to have USB-C on an iPhone. And that's why I think there's no 8K on this iPhone because lightning is so slow and AirDrop is nice, but this is not fast enough for transferring like a lot of files. So that's the reason why they did probably not go with 8k on this iphone what also is in the boxes of course like apple stickers and that's it one it's nothing special in europe we also have like the e not eSIM, but we still have a sim card slot i would love to see that apple just removed it because i'm all for moderning and making eSIM even better and if they're gonna transition to eSIM everywhere i think it will take a year and everyone will be on it and then it will be so much nicer let's turn it on i'm really excited to see like the screen first okay the apple logo is turning on as you can see maybe not on this screen because there's a polarizer on it and it will shift colors of my screen so it feels like a different phone can directly see like the bezels are smaller and yeah it's so much nicer like it feels also really nice to hold this phone because still hold makes it just a new experience i will say i'm coming from an iphone 13 pro max what i was saying at the beginning and let's be honest it feels like the iphone 10 again like a whole new screen and so now we're gonna set my iphone up and then i'll be back and here we are, the iPhone 14 Pro Max I did set up. And now we're going to talk about the functions this phone has. I'm not going in depth on all the functions, but I'm just going quickly take a glance at it. And in another video, I will test all the functions that this phone has. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the display. And I think the display is the most noticeable change about the iPhone 14 Pro lineup. And let's be honest, this is really nice. I did test the Dynamic Island and that's just some crazy thing where nobody was talking about it just feels something new so apple did have the same old notch from 2017 with the iphone 10 to the iphone 13 in 2021 but in 2022 they finally did something new again here on the top of course the iphone 13 did also have a smaller notch but i did not see that as a big change but the pill hole or the dynamic island or however you want to call this this is something new and i think a lot of people will feel the difference and see and really want this function uh, it's not that we 
will, will change a lot, but it's something that will make the experience of an iPhone even better. So I can see more improvements, but overall the dynamic island for now, my first experience, it's really good. Really quick, going to show you some things on the dynamic island, what you can do with it. So the first thing I'm gonna show if you're open music, if I know swipe up, you see it gives an animation and now it's showing on the left side and banner icon of the music that you're playing or it's also the same if I'm playing a video or listening podcast or something it will also do the same animation on the right side there's like an equalizer with moving lanes it's also really nice if you press on it like that you see him pop up then you can skip the song pause and and scroll through the music or a video or a podcast or something i'm also going to show you also something really nice about the dynamic island i'm quickly going to start the timer there we go 30 minutes is good if i'm now going to swipe up to the dynamic island you see it separates them into different things it's really nice to have that and if i close the music tab so you can just press on that and close it and now you can see the timer is fully displayed. So on the left side is the timer icon and on the other side is the time that's telling down, of course. And if you connect AirPods or AirPods Max to the iPhone, it will give a nice animation. Also the same if you're putting your iPhone on the charge and the iPhone is unlocked, it will also give like a nice animation. So this dynamic island it will be getting better if developers are going to release live activities, then it will be a lot nicer. And I think there's gonna be a lot more to do with the dynamic island. And of course, the next Next thing that's new on the screen is the always on the supply. As you can see, always on the supply is just dimming the wallpaper. And for me, it's, it's not bad or something. It's really nice that they did it on this way. It's different than older smartphones, of course. And a lot of Android smartphones have it maybe for 10 years or something. But Apple did it on an older way. And I, I think I like this more than just a black screen with some time on it. This is something nicer. This does not use a lot of power because it's, it's dimming and it's also going to one hertz. So it's not using a lot of power. Also, what's really nice, what Apple did with the always on the display, if you have an Apple watch on and you walk far away enough, the screen will just turn off. That's to preserve battery life if you're not by your iPhone. The same if you have AirPods in, it will also do the same. If you're going far away from your iPhone, it will just turn off the display. The same I did have is CarPlay. If my iPhone is connected to CarPlay, it will also shut down always on the display. So Apple is really smart about that. So if you're really not going to use always on the display, it will just be turned off. Also the same if your iPhone is in your pocket or if your iPhone is with the screen face down to a table or something. The next thing about the screen, it is now has 1600 nits for high dynamic range. So the next thing what's also pretty nice is the iPhone does now have the brightest display of any smartphone in the world. That's 2000 nits and that's crazy. The 2000 nits will only work if you're in direct sunlight. So then you can finally see the screen really good in an iPhone. But I'm a little bit skeptical about that because on my iPhone 13 Pro Max, the screen was already really bright, but if it's really hot i was in location in croatia and if the sun was like it was really hot 30 degrees or something the screen will just dim and because my phone was too hot and i hope on the iphone 14 pro lineup they do not do the same because i really want to have a bright screen and yeah so i hope we can figure that out in a couple of days or weeks if it's really going to dim the display if the phone is getting really hot so now we're going to talk a little bit more about the terminals inside this iPhone. And the first one is of course the emergency SOS via satellite. Now you can, if you're in an emergency, you can connect to your satellite and find some help. This will only work for the moment in the in US and in Canada, it will launch in November. The next thing that you maybe probably already heard is crash detection. So if you're in a car crash, the iPhone can detect now that you're in a crash and will call emergency if you're not responding in 10 seconds. The processor in the iPhone did also get an upgrade. Now it did go from the A15 Bionic to an A16 Bionic. There's nothing that special, but it's a little bit faster. The graphics are a little bit faster. It's more efficient for the battery and stuff. But in an older video, I will take a deeper look on the processor of the iPhone 14 Pro series. The front facing camera has now a 12 megapixel camera and the iPhone 14 Pro lineup does also have an autofocus on the front facing camera. And that's really nice. Also the front camera on the iPhone 14 Pro lineup, you can also take two times better of photos in low light with the front facing camera so if you're taking selfies or something in dark the photos will be even better and now we're going to talk about the back of this phone the camera and i was already
already telling it in the beginning of this video, but the camera bump is thicker and bigger. The main camera does now have an 84 megapixel camera. It does also have better low light, of course, in all lenses. You can now take three times better low light photos with the ultra wide camera, two times better with the main camera, and also two times better with the telephoto camera. So now these are improved. I think it's also the same for video. I think if you're filming at night, it will be even better. I'm not sure about that, but I'm going to test that very soon. Also, what's really nice because of the 84 megapixels camera, Apple did add in two times zoom. So that means we have an extra lens. Technically, it's using the main camera, but it just crops in. So we have now a little bit more to choose from. The cinematic mode did also get an upgrade. Now you can shoot in 4K at 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second. That's a really welcome function. And something that I'm really hyped about that's gonna be really helpful for sometimes is action mode. I'm not gonna to test it today, but in another video, but action mode is technically a software stabilization function that you can turn on and you can run and it will stabilize your footage it can get up to 2.8k resolution so that's more than enough so it's really nice that we have that it does also have now a photonic engine the iphone does now also have a new adaptive true tone flash this is really nice like if you're in ultra wide it will change the lightning based on which lens you are in so that's really nice i'm also going to test that in the other video so that is everything new on this iphone of course there's a lot more to talk about but this video i want not to make too long so this will be the end of this video so i hope you did enjoy my unboxing and first impression of this iphone 14 pro max space black and in a couple of weeks i will upload my review of this phone so stay tuned for that and then i will go more in depth on the future that this phone does have also don't forget to follow me on instagram vero and twitter links are in the description and also don't forget to subscribe and like this video and i will see you in another video very soon Bye.